Hey everybody, welcome back to the Weekend Geek Them Geo here, and today we're gonna talk about the Brave Tuber from Takahito Ozaki. So the Brave Tuber. I have to admit, the only reason I know about this series and own it is because back in 2020, I was browsing through Book Outlet and I noticed that they had manga in a clearance section. Now, I hadn't bought from them ever, so I gave it a go and I noticed that one of the series that was uh, on sale was the Brave Tuber for, I think, $2 per volume. So it took me a little bit because, you know, life, but I finally gave it a go and I know I'm super late on this and it's not necessarily the most popular manga, to be honest. I totally understand that, but I still wanted to talk about it. My goal for uh, this year, 2022, is I want to make review videos of every single manga that I own. And by that, I mean series, not individual volumes, because that would be pretty insane. But yeah, I'm starting not in a particular order, just randomly off the shelf. And I looked at it the other day and I thought, you know what? Let's talk about the Brave Tuber. Why the hell not? As you can see, I have the first two volumes right here. I'm going to pick this one up, which is pretty interesting because um, for some reason, these books always confuse me because the front cover goes like this and it looks like a screen from your YouTube browser, which is immediately eye-catching, if not a little bit distracting and silly at the same time. So like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is a series created by Takahito Ozaki. And I forgot to mention that it is illustrated by Ikuro. So the story follows the character of Zane, who's this holy sword wielder, and the character of Kuku, who is the spirit of the holy sword. She resides outside of the actual sword and she interacts with everybody in the world. And for fun, the two of them decided to create videos for WizTube, which is this world's version of YouTube. Now there's also Witter, which is their version of Twitter and stuff like that. And that is the main hook of this series. Yes, it's a fantasy action comedy, but it also has technology and social media. And that is really fun because you have two characters that aren't necessarily the best at what they do, but gosh darn it, are they gonna try and succeed at making videos and becoming hit uh, whiz tubers, if you will. And it's all too relatable if you make content online, whether it's uh, Twitter, whether you're on Instagram or YouTube or whatever platform you decide to create content for. I found it really relatable and enjoyed their uh, trials and, and tribulations in the story as they're trying to become uh, the next big hit and gain subscribers and go with the trend and use what's popular. And, and they cover a lot of stuff from uh, review type videos to animal videos to uh, uh, footage like vlogs, all the different subgenres of YouTube videos. I think the most important ones get covered in, in here. Even the whole VTuber craze is covered here with uh, shape-shifting abilities from uh, uh, mages and uh, witches and stuff like that, which I thought was pretty cool. And the fact that, yeah, it is sort of this epic fantasy world and they somehow have technology uh, and electricity to run computers, camcorders, and, and just have a working internet is really hilarious. Now, aside from that, unfortunately, the series doesn't really offer much when it comes to uh, character development and plot. It's more of a slice of life of these two characters as they're trying to become the big, uh, you know, uh, social media influencer. And yes, there is a bit of backstory, just a tiny little bit sprinkled throughout, but nothing major. And you just, you can just go in blind and enjoy these characters' adventures as they're trying to do the crazy thing. And what's interesting is that in other series that might have been detrimental to the story here, even though we only have, I think it was 13 chapters total, it works for what it is. It's, it's their one trick pony and it doesn't need anything else because it's a really strong friggin' pony having this clash 
of internet culture and memes and jokes and references to social media and the online world with like streaming and uh, video reviews and stuff like that. And of course, clashing it with tropes of fantasy series and anime and manga, uh, really making it a memorable quirky little slice of life comedy. Now, I don't consider myself a big time social media creator or none of that. I just do this uh, as my main hobby. I love creating content and that's it. But I think even with my uh, minuscule uh, subscriber count, I kind of do consider myself a YouTuber. And so it, it kind of hit close to home and I found it really funny on that aspect. Uh, there are a lot of uh, characters that have different types of channels, so it's always interesting at the end of each chapter to uh, read over their stats and um, their subscriber counts and all that stuff. And uh, I don't know, just overall a really fun, innovative take on both genres that I mentioned and how the author uh, mashed it all together. Unfortunately, the character development is zero to none, and there is some subplot about the demon lord and how Zane wants to defeat him because he is the chosen warrior and all that stuff, but nobody really knows who he is, nobody really likes him, and his comment section is just stragglers and haters. And it's when he occasionally has success by introducing other uh, elements and other characters that pop up later in the, in the manga uh, that you want to root for them but then realize that they're kind of inept and silly and you're just in it for the ride and enjoy uh, the crazy antics and all that stuff. Zane is this one note character. He has this dead stare that everybody makes fun of and just um, he just wants to defeat the demon lord and uh, earn some views and cash and be a hero, but there's not a whole lot there. Cuckoo, on the other hand, uh, she is much more energetic and she's the brains of the operation. She's a lot more likable, I guess. And there are other characters presented as well, which I thought were pretty funny. But for the main duo, uh, they're kind of one note and that's sort of the joke because uh, that's, that's it. <laughs> they're one note characters trying to make it big on the uh, online WizTube space, which is pretty funny because we've all been there, right? <laughs> Now, at only two volumes, uh, the story is pretty brief, and by the final chapter, I was wondering, how the heck are they going to wrap it up? And I thought it was pretty a pretty nice send-off to these characters. I had no idea that this received an anime adaptation. I, I completely uh, skipped over that one. So I'm interested to see how that looks in animation. Uh, the art, I should mention, from Ikuro, that's something that I was really enjoying. For the most part, a lot of the scenes are kind of generic, but the character designs and the crazy, you know, movements and the whole platform that they're shooting on and just having a character is holding a laptop and commenting on, on social media and you have the Dark Lord just sitting there and watching this witch who's essentially a VTuber. I, I thought that was pretty hilarious and really made my day. Uh, so yeah, it, it's not going to be the most memorable thing you read, but it's still fun. If you like uh, fantasy series, if you like anime and manga, of course, with a dose of uh, social media and content creation and all that fun stuff, I think you'll remember it for a little bit before you move on to something else. Hey, I'm just being honest. So that's about it, gang. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you've read The Brave Tuber, let me know in the comments section down below what you thought of it. And if you haven't, what are some of your favorite uh, comedic slice of life manga that you think I should check out? Thank you everybody once again for tuning in. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of A Week in Geekdom. I truly do appreciate it. I've got to go. Stay safe. God bless everybody. Thank you so much. I will catch all of you on our next video.